every day, the Philippines does more than wait. Putting together new adventures and experiences for you to try. Because we know that you deserve more. We can't wait to welcome you. Yes, we can't wait to welcome you to the Philippines. I am Soleil Tropicales, Tourism Attaché of the Philippine Department of Tourism in San Francisco. And today, I will share with you the travel preparation and the fun that awaits you in the Philippines. So right now, the Philippines is open for Filipino citizens, former Filipinos or the Balikbayan, their foreign spouses and children. And we continue to relax the testing and quarantine protocols for fully vaccinated individuals from countries which are classified as low risk. And from the US, the fully vaccinated travelers should present a negative RT-PCR test conducted within 48 hours prior to departure and, our, and are required to undergo facility-based quarantine with RT-PCR testing on the fifth day. And upon release of their negative test, travelers may continue, um, may, uh, may continue with home quarantine until the seventh day. And for those uh, travelers of Filipinos coming from the U.S., they can present their CDC vaccination card as proof of vaccination. The Philippine Department of Tourism uh, continues to ramp up the vaccination of our tourism workers across the country as a way to ensure their safety and the safety of our domestic travelers as well as uh, soon for the international uh, travelers. And as of December 17, 2021, 87.04% of tourism workers have been vaccinated. And the top three uh, regions with high vaccination rates are the Cordillera uh, region, National Capital region, and Region 11. And in the top tourist destinations, such as uh, Baguio City, Boracay, um, Coron, and San Vicente in Palawan, Mandawa City in Cebu, and Camiguin, 100% of the tourism workers are vaccinated. Now, let us hear from our tourism stakeholders how the pandemic has been both a challenge and an opportunity for the industry. Sobrang napikto ng hanap po po namin ng mga bankiro dahil po walang wala po talagang turista ngayon, gawa ng pandemya po. Walang magawang ano, hindi kami nakapagtrabaho, nagka-utang-utang dahil sa pandemic. Sobrang napektuhan kami mga surfer kasi halos dito na lang kami kumikita ng pagkain namin. Ang mas lalo pong naapektuhan is yung mga vendors natin, uh, kabalyeros and tricycle driver. But in the good faith of our government, mayroon naman po silang binigay na ayuda. Ang pinagmamalak po, po dito sa bansa natin ay punong-puno po tayo ng kultura at hospitality po matulungin, palakaibigan at simple po at ababait po tayong mga Pilipino. Ang pinaka-proud of ko sa pagiging Pilipino, tayo ay merong katatagan ng kalooban na lumaban sa ating kakaibang klase ng laban. Sana kahit matapos na itong pandemya, ituloy-tuloy po natin yung magandang kaugalian na yun.
pag natapos siguro itong pandemya na ito, unti-unti muling sisiglang Pilipinas para sa turismo ko. Ngayon na nagkakaroon na ng linaw ang bagay na ito, unti-unti nang nakikita natin sa mukha ng mga tao ang kislap ng kanilang mga mata at ngiti. The Philippine tourism will rise again. With a commitment for fun and safe travel, the Philippine Department of Tourism has put in place the Safety Seal Certification. So it is a voluntary certification scheme which affirms that an, an establishment is compliant with the minimum public health standards set by the Philippine government. And it uses and integrates its contract tracing with staysafe.ph. And those, um, who gets the safety seal certification? So these are the accommodation establishments, such as hotels, resorts, apartment hotels, and other accredited accommodation establishments. This also includes the travel and tour services, um, mice, venues, or facilities, and restaurants inside the hotel and resort. And as of December 17, uh, we are happy to note that we have 1,468 tourism establishments that have received the safety seal of the Department of Tourism. And now for the infrastructure development, the new terminal of the Clark International Airport has also been recently inaugurated in Pampanga. So this marvel of modern Filipino architecture inspired by the slopes of Mount Arayat and the Filipino Christmas Lantern will offer fast, safe, and efficient air travel services such as contactless self-check-in and bag drop, advanced docking guidance system, and even contactless ordering for your pre-flight dining. While the international travel to the Philippines is still restricted, domestic travel has resumed since the second half of uh, last year. And the More Fun Awaits campaign was launched with new tourism products and packages to try, each offering their own unique experiences. The first is to get an adrenaline rush. So in Central Visayas, it is a perfect place for adventures with its beautiful combination of mountains and beaches. Here, one can trek the trails at the Osmania Peak and be rewarded by the breathtaking vista along with a refreshing dip at the Kawasan Falls. You can also try the surf zip line at the world famous chocolate hill adventure park that offers an aerial view of the hill from 230 feet high tourism can also be done in two wheels with the motor turismo pilgrimage caravan it is developed to encourage motorbike enthusiasts to explore the open roads of the country in Davao, in the southern part of the Philippines, one can even bike while suspended in mid-air or try the sky swing at the Eden Nature Park and Mountain Resort. Aside from the award-winning Boracay Island, we have more beaches to offer. You could head to the beaches of the Calaguas group of islands in Camarines Norte, and Mercedes group of islands for island hopping adventures. The Karamoan Island, which has been used as a location for the Survivor TV series, offers 4,000 hectare limestone forest. Another island destination is Palawan, known as the nature's last ecological frontier, which offers coves and caves. For those who would want to take a dip dive into the underwater adventure, there is Subataha Reef, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
and Coron Bay, which is the site for many shipwrecks from World War II. And on a personal note, as a diver myself, this is one of my favorite dive destinations in the Philippines. You can also do island hopping adventures in El Nido and a boat trip, trip on Puerto Princesa Underground River, again, which has been voted as one of the seven new seven, uh, new seven wonders of nature. And for more fun uh, um, uh, activities in the water, you could visit the 2021 Best Island in Asia by Continent Traveler magazine, Shargao. Aside from the um, Condenas Traveler Award, the Philippines was hailed as the 2021 Asia's leading beach destination and leading dive destination by the World Travel Award. And again, as a diver myself, this makes me so proud that the Philippines has been receiving the same recognition for the past year. While enjoying the award-winning islands of the Philippines, you should not miss taking a food trip around the country. And for better appreciation of the Filipino cuisine, here is another video. The Philippines has more flavors than it has islands, and that's saying a lot when there's over 7,000. All Filipino food is a fusion of flavors. Take adobo, for example. So many different flavors involved to make that taste of comfort. Because the only thing Pinoys love more than eating is making other people eat. And I'm sure whatever mm. we're putting in it, we're putting it all in one bite and making you eat it. The amazing thing about adobo is there's no one recipe. You cook with your heart and eat with your mouth. There's so many ways to wipe out in the Philippines, from surf to table. Sometimes we just invent reasons to eat. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, merienda. <laughs> pancit palabok for merienda. <laughs> Who's merienda? As with any pancit dish, the noodles are for long life. Long life, but not long hair. <laughs> Our food comes from an incredibly rich culinary history. It may not look it, but there's complex flavors at work here. Sweet, salty, savory, rich, delicate. Fish in my chocolate? Why not? <laughs> we love mixing it up. 15 flavors for the price of one. One of the country's greatest chefs is a giant dancing bee. Jolly bee! And he's serving up something good. For Pinoy's, half the fun is in savoring the smell of your food. But all the fun is in eating it. <laughs> oh, so you're one of those people that like pineapple on everything? No, but with a burger, it's definitely okay. Huh, says who? Hmm. By far though, nothing is more Pinoy than chicken that's made with joy. We call it Chicken Joy. It's crispy-licious, juicy-licious, and we love dipping it in gravy. I know this sounds crazy, but we also love sweet spaghetti with red hot dog. Everyone's always invited to the party. There's Koya Jun Jun, Tita Let Let, Tito Boy Boy, and Lola Girly. No utensils? No problem. Over here, we eat with our hands. So come on over and join, because eat's more fun when you're part of it. There is really more to discover in the Philippines with world-class destinations that are thrilled to welcome tourists once international travel resumes. And um, before I end my presentation, let me share with you the Philippine tourism video 
It has been hailed as one of the exceptional stories of sustainable tourism in the 2021 UNWTO Tourism Video Competition. Thank you so much for your indulgence. I hope that you learned something new today and you're excited to travel again. And we look forward to welcoming you to the Philippines very soon. This is the fun team of the Philippine Tourism. On behalf of my colleagues from our New York and Los Angeles offices, it is our pleasure to be here with you today. We have here our email addresses. Soleil Tropicalis from San Francisco office, Rich Mendez from Los Angeles office, and Francisco Lordizabal from New York office. Please feel free to contact us for any questions and uh, for future collaboration. Thank you. <laughs>